All right, guys. Today, we're going to talk about uh, five tips to get better at the guitar, or any instrument, really. Right? If you've watched a lot of these videos, I'm sure you've heard some of these before, and I am absolutely sure you've heard of this first tip. And that is, and it is the most important one, anything you're doing, practice. You got to practice. Because if you don't practice, you won't get better. Practice is the biggest thing you can do. Get a stand. Get a music stand. And, you know, practice the boring stuff. Practice chords and scales. Get a chord book, you know, a book of scales, that kind of stuff. little guitar book. And practice that stuff, the basics. The things that really, really do seem kind of boring. It's not the exciting stuff, but it's the basis for everything that you're going to do later. You know what I mean? You got to practice that kind of stuff. So, and practice new things. If you've been playing a while, uh, don't get stuck in a rut. Practice new things. Start practicing uh, new types of genres or types of music. And practice as much as you can. If you can practice every day, if you can set aside some time to practice, do it, you know? Sometimes that helps if you actually set aside 30 minutes or an hour every day. I mean, even if it's only 10 minutes, leave your guitar setting out like on a stand, you know, just setting out there and pick it up 10 minutes a day, go over some chords, go over some scales, and practice the stuff that makes you a better uh, musician. And definitely try to branch out and practice new things. You know, it's why... When you're a kid, you get good. You get good at these types of things because you have time and you're filling it with something and you practice. You know what I mean? Most kids, they, they like me, when I was in high school, I practiced a lot because I had the time to do it. So if you can make the time, do it. But practice is the most important thing to getting better at anything, not just music. I'd say two, and this is a pretty good tip, Learn new things. When I said pr try practicing new things, well, that goes along with that. Learn new things. And just like I said before, get a chord or scale book and try new chords. Sometimes you can, uh, you can try some new chords, seventh chords, ninth chords, diminished chords, all kinds of stuff, and it might really give you some inspiration. Or try playing chords in different places on the neck. Trying new scales can really inspire a person. You know, but learn new things. You can do that from YouTube videos, like you know, like on my channel. I try to teach some some different types of ideas on here sometimes. But there are some uh, YouTube videos and, and people who make content on here that are very very good at teaching new types of things. Uh, music theory. Don't be scared of music theory. It can really really take you to new levels. You know. Uh, you can learn from other people, and definitely learn new genres and new types of songs, even stuff that you're not really that into. You know, if let's say you don't really like country, learn some country anyway. It might make your rock guitar better. Or learn, uh, I don't know, just about anything you can think of. You know what I mean? Maybe you're not much into progressive rock, maybe you're not into hip-hop, but try to learn different things. It can improve what you do like doing. Three, and this goes along with with practice, but play. Not, not just practice, but actually play stuff. With people is great. If you can get together with friends, you can put a band together, or just a couple of you jamming along, playing with people will make you a better musician. And if you don't have people to play along with, get some, get some basic software like I have right here, I'm, I'm using Studio One, but Pro Tools is fine or any other type of basic recording software and get some loops or even record your own loops. You can play with yourself, record yourself and then play along with it or get some loops and play along with them. The great thing about a lot of the, the loops that you, can, that you can get out there, some of them are free, some of them come with the software if you get the, like, the software you pay for. And some of them are pretty inexpensive. And the good thing about loops is you can get, you know, loops that are from different genres. 
when I was saying learn new genres, learn to play different things, learn new things, well, that goes along with that too, and play along with it. And that, that goes along with, with practice, I guess, but it's a little bit different because you're not just practicing scales and chords and basic stuff. It's actually branching out a little bit and learning to play. If you can play in front of people, that's awesome. Don't be intimidated by that, by the way. Don't be scared to play in front of people. You can find some very sympathetic audiences out there. My wife and I have played at a lot of senior centers and nursing homes and places like that. The, the people there, they love it. And they tend to be a rather sympathetic audience a lot of times. They're, usually they're not too hard on you. We've been heckled at nursing homes. But just remember, if you really, really stink, they probably won't remember anyway, right? So, you know, go out there and play. And play along with, play along with the radio. Stream some music and try playing along with it. Find what key they're in and play along with your favorite songs. That can really, really make you a better musician. And I mentioned earlier, you know, about uh, learning new things, learning some music theory. Well, that, that's four. Learn some theory. And I don't mean you have to get really deep into it, but even even the basic stuff on, in music theory, like your circle of fifths and how chords are put together, can really, really make you a better musician. And not just that, once you start to get the hang of it, and it's, it's not as hard as you might think, it really isn't, but once you start getting into it a little bit, it's easy to get excited about it. And you come up with new ideas and new ways to play. And that really can create a lot of motivation and that's I find that to be true with me as well a lot of times I'll get stuck in a rut and I'll learn a little bit of new stuff about music theory and, or watch a video online once again there are a lot of great YouTube channels that teach uh, music theory signals music studio and Rick Beato and you know these are really great channels and there are a lot of others but uh, learning a little bit of theory can really get you excited and get you motivated and give you a better understanding of what it is you're doing and the better you understand it the more interesting it gets you know because then you know how to really play with the notes more and play with the chords more and, and how to change stuff and that can really make you a better songwriter too and that's where things can get really interesting is when you get into songwriting but I'll say the fifth tip this is the final one and this goes in when I when I was talking about playing with you know along with yourself on uh, on the computer you can record yourself and then play it back and play along with it is record yourself and it doesn't have to be professional you don't have to be the best producer but recording yourself for me recording myself was one of the really big breaking moments that made me a much 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 better musician I record uh, I always had trouble with click tracks. What I'll do is I'll set up a rhythm track, even if it's just a basic boom, pop, boom, pop. Just uh, record or uh, I'll program a rhythm track to play along with because I just do better with that than click tracks. But if you can get used to a click track, that's great too. If you can start recording yourself, you can really hear how your timing is, whether or not you're really on the beat, and it'll make you a better musician. Especially if you, you keep doing it until you get it right, it really, really improves your timing, it improves your tempo, it makes you look at music very differently, and you start to really hear, when you play it back, where you're making mistakes, and where you need to improve, and where you're doing really well, too. You might be really good at some of this and not realize, hey, I'm really good at this part, but not at that part, and recording yourself really highlights that for you and try recording multiple parts. Almost every recording software allows you to do multi-track recording. So you can record multiple guitar parts and I would say learn some rhythm. Uh, if you can afford it, you know, buy a bass guitar. There are some out there that are pretty cheap. You don't need something fancy, like something, you can get them from like Toman. The Harley Benton ones are like $120, $130 for the really cheap ones. And you can, uh, you can get some drum software. A lot, of, a lot of DAWs come with drum software, and you can record your own songs. And, you know, a little bit of drums, a little bit of bass, record your guitar parts. 
And recording yourself and recording your own songs can be a very exciting thing. It can be a lot of fun and it will definitely make you a better musician. There, there's nothing that really speeds up the learning process quicker than recording except for maybe playing in front of people. These are things that really, really help you grow as a musician and are a ton of fun and that's the biggest thing. Wherever you are in this journey of music, don't give up, don't get discouraged, and make sure to have fun. This isn't, you know, for most of us, this isn't a job. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that do music professionally. I've done music professionally, I've done producing professionally before, and I still do sometimes. And there have been times when it really was a job. It was not fun. And, you know, I've had people I've worked with or worked for that were just a total nightmare. And I've had really bad gigs. And I've had times when this is just miserable. But for most of us, it's not a job. And even when it is a job, it's, I, I'm making it sound terrible. It's more fun than I, I have any right to expect in, out of this world. You know what I mean? I've had so much fun at this. But just, that's the thing. Have fun. Especially, man, if, if you're, not, you're not doing this professionally, you're not doing it for a living, you're just doing it for fun, make sure to have fun. If it's not fun, change what you're doing. You know? So, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I got more content coming. I got all kinds of stuff. More uh, videos like this and, and maybe some funny stuff and some, you know, all kinds of stuff. I'm trying to come up with ideas here. If you got anything you want to you want me to tell you, talk about, or you want to see, tell me in the comments below. Talk to me. I get back to, you know, pretty much all of my comments. So, I love you guys. Peace out. I'll see you next time.